Okay, here we go. Just got out of Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. Gotta do a reaction video, cause... You know what, JJ hey, from Shore, fine, whatever. Sure, I'm gonna turn this off, cause last time I forgot to turn that off. Yes, right, reaction video without the climate control on. Sure, whatever. Sure, give Chewie his medal. Give, <laughs> give Ray <laughs> her backstory. Um, Okay, so we got Emperor Palpatine. Cool. All right. It was him the whole time. I like that. Ian McDermott from episode one all the way through to episode nine. Coming in and out. Okay. Your stupid C-3PO slapstick. Sure. That's cool, too. Whatever. Um, just... That's just it. Just whatever. Okay, so there were some Star Wars moments. We all, you know, we, we had some laughs. You know, uh, the, uh, Lando Calrissian shows up out of the blue wearing a, a helmet remarkably similar to what he wore in Return of the Jedi. And, of course, I saw him in the trailer. I knew Billy D. Williams was in the movie, so, of course, who else do you think this guy is? Uh, so no surprise there. Um, you know, I just... Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, at the beginning of the movie, Kylo Ren picks up that thing. What is that, a holocron? I thought they said no. Okay, so it's not a holocron. I, I, I have no reaction. This feels so bland. It was... You know what it was? It was an awful lot like... The Force Awakens. It was... Safe and uninspired. Although, I gotta say, so, for the last 25, 30 years, since, since the Battle of Endor, Emperor Palpatine's just been chilling on this planet that's hidden in the middle of nowhere, building spaceships. Where's he getting the metal and the supplies and the manufacturing for all this? He's using the Force to build ships that just magically out of nowhere, all of a sudden, one Star Destroyer can destroy a planet? Oh, great, yes. This is like, that, this, the whole MO of the Empire is to destroy planets. So, okay, all right, all right, all right. He uses the Force to manufacture super-duper Star Destroyers. I, all right, I'll buy it. Fine. Shut up and take my money. But then, not only does he manufacture these Star Destroyers, but also, Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. He also has manufactured the uniforms and the crew for all of these ships. And they say, oh, no, no, that was just the first order. They, they they got in there and they figured it out. Like, they figured it out over the course of how long did this movie take? From beginning to end. This is like a couple of weeks at most, right? And sometimes it's hard to tell me. You know, maybe it was like six months, but probably not. It felt more like a four weeks from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie. It, um, you know, all these ships perfectly ready to go. And, of course, you got your, uh, you know what they need? They need to do. They need to retcon some kind of reason why the ship fleet was so ridiculously vulnerable. Um, what what did uh, Will Smith and um, Ian Malcolm? Who was the guy who played Ian Malcolm? The guy who was in the fly. God, I can never remember the actor's name. Anyway, plant some kind of computer virus. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so there was that station that was controlling them as they lifted off, off the planet. But if they lifted up off the planet that was so hard to get to, how did you get... How many people are on a, a Star Destroyer? Standard Star Destroyer is crewed by what? 5,000? 8,000? 35,000 people? It's a huge, huge ship. It's got a ridiculous crew. Um, I like that they mentioned the Holdo Maneuver. And then they tried to say, Oh, no! You can't do that! No! Can't! No, nope, it's not as easy as you think. Alright, well, thanks for glossing over that. I like I like that they put Chewie back in jail. That was nice, you know. Shoot the cameras! Pew pew! How are you doing? We're all fine here. We're, we're all fine here. How are you? No, the movie was completely ridiculous. Uh, I still enjoyed it. I will tell you this, though. The audience that we saw it with, very excited. Good audience to see the movie with. Everyone was cheering, really enjoying the entire movie, right? Um, but the scene <laughs> where 
uh, Ben comes out of the abyss, finds Ray, does his little, hey, you healed me, I'll heal you maneuver. Um, and then they kiss. Okay, yes, that was great. Cheers. Yeah, exciting. Okay, good. They're, they're, there's love there. Can you feel the love tonight? Um, but then when he disappears, the audience laughs. Like, this is funny. Oh, he's going to be Force Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a joke. Yeah, no way he's going to be a Force Ghost. And then later, then Luke and Leia appear on Tatooine. I was expecting Ben to kind of appear to the left in the same way Anakin did in Return of the Jedi. They even had Ewoks for crying out loud. Ewoks and, and, and Star Destroyers nose diving into things. Yeah. Yeah, my friend said as we're walking out, he says, Wow, I enjoyed watching Return of the Jedi again. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. Except I didn't have a nice song there at the end, you know. And uh, Ewoks bang, bang on Stormtrooper helmets. Oh. My reaction to this. At least I'm laughing and smiling. I'm not screaming like I was at the end of uh, uh, Game of Thrones. God, that was... <laughs> okay, sure. Whatever. I can't take this seriously anymore. I told you I'd give you three movies. I gave you five. I can't take this seriously anymore. Oh. I know. I know what some of you are thinking. How are you able to take it seriously since 1999? And that's the thing. 1999. 20 years more because we saw the the pre uh, the re-release of the uh, original series. But since 1999, we have been coming on opening weekend to see new Star Wars movies here at the Uptown Theater. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. That's eight movies we've seen since 1999. You know? That's pretty awesome, I think. We had a lot of fun. Uptown Theater, of course, being, uh, if I remember correctly, if I have been informed the way I expect, Uptown Theater being one of the movie theaters that, uh, one of the few across the country, uh, 7, 20, 12, some, some ridiculously no, no, low number, that was actually one of the movies that, that had Star Wars at the premiere uh, of the original Star Wars back in 1977. So, you know, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Or whatever, that doesn't make any bloody sense. Well, um, okay, so Star Wars, Star Wars done? I don't know, I guess I'll watch The Mandalorian now. I'm not going to talk about The Mandalorian, because I have opinions. But, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. First two episodes of The Mandalorian, very enjoyable. Liked it very much. Nice one, Centurion, like it, like it. Um, so, uh, yeah, see Rise of Skywalker. Why not? Sure, JJ, whatever. All right, thanks.